Ez az üzenet a kapcsolat, a bota Fábio, itt jó van. I do know that uh, Nelson Witten did not organize this. The organizing committee did not take cognizance of those of us in Abuja. Or as I mentioned to him, why didn't you plead with them to bring it to Abuja? He said, no, I'm not from Abuja. Okay. So that is uh, just a wuja for you. Abai from Abuja. So the good people of River State, you have a jewel in your son. Just a wuja. My colleagues have been introduced, but I think Senator Jimmy Kuta was not introduced. He's the chairman of the Senate Committee on Area Council. And of course, the chairman of Narcotics and Drugs and former governor of Gombe State, His Excellency Dan Kwambo, is also here. We have a lot of them. We have also my brother, the Chief Senator Asuko Ekpeyam, NDDC chairman in the Senate, and our leader, the Senator Weboy, the Deputy Majority Leader. We have Dr. Kaila, Distinguished Senator from Bauchi of the PDP Extraction. Where did the wicked belong? <laughs> and uh, we have also, in fact, even the guest lecturer, Cross is the, the, uh, the House of Representatives Leader in the Senate. Professor Humberg, intellectually sagacious. <laughs> Always on point. May God continue to keep your brain vibrant. And thank you for the vibrant lecture. Senator Tijangu is the only senator that survived in Southeast. He is of the PDP extraction. But others, because of obedience, uh, uh, disobedience of the, uh, the voters, the, 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 the whole of Edugu is the only one. Thank God, uh, Governor. Uh, is then Governor is also here. In the in part, in the whole Southeast, is yeah, the only one that survives in PDP. So, but, uh, what's the Kalo is the uh, APC. Ah, uh, uh, allow me to talk. Bejera <laughs> <laughs> is the chairman of FCC in the House of Representatives. And my brother, Orwell. Orwell is from here, Orwell News. And so many others, the Senate Senators. I have seen also Senator Shakibon and many other Senators who are here. Let me recognize now the man of the moment, the celebrant, my brother, Senator. Ah. I hope I don't make that mistake again. Right Honorable, because he was the government chairman, right Honorable. Minister, Minister of Weekend, the Minister of Minister. And my, the Weekend successor, my young brother, my young son, daughter, Minister of Weekend. I recognize you on behalf of the entire family. I'm very happy that you are here to witness this. The Honourable Minister of State for FCG and our spouse, distinguished ministers, including the Bubri, the managing director of NDDC, and all the chieftains of NDDC who are here, the Right Honourable Speaker, Speaker, River State Office here. I thought the, the government, uh, so I'm very happy to hear. 
I'm very happy to hear that the Right Honorable Speaker of the River State House for Assembly is here. The Right Honorable Speaker, I'm, I'm sure you are here with many of your members. They are all over. Oh my God. So the government is completed. Eh? Because, uh, because for those of you who may not understand uh, politics, uh, we were taught even while in school that the parliament can turn a woman into a man oh. and a man into a woman. And as a governor, my greatest fear was my house of assembly. So because of that, I never travel anywhere without my speaker. <laughs> so any, any time I don't see him for a day, I'll send somebody to his house to find out. You can go, yes, you can go and have lunch with me. So, then I'll use the idea to look at his face, whether he was happy with me or not. So, because the only place I can hurt the governor is the House of uh, Assembly. And no court, no democracy can stop that from happening. I hope you know that. So, Any, any uh, president that wants to survive, like Asubajibola uh, Metinibu, must hold his speaker and his Senate president very closely, like he's holding us. <laughs> that is the truth. Recently, he conferred on us GCUN, two of us, Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger. Whether he, he loved it or not, though, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> you must do the two chambers together. <laughs> so, I don't know what is happening in the past, but I do hope that the successor to Yeshua Mike realizes the fact that no matter how the best fly, the legs are pointing to the ground. Something, something must be wrong. <laughs> Today is not for politics, today is for news of weekend. But sometimes I wonder, as a politician, I will never have been a governor, given the resources of River State. And then I disagree with my house, and I'm not able to coach at least one member out of the other group. So if I don't do that, it means there's something wrong with my political philosophy. So I don't care what people say, but we must try to stop this politics of betrayal and politics of treasury. Because it does not even allow for good succession. Prof, in everything you said here, the word that was missing was sustainability. You can have sustainability in good politics and governance when the person taking over from you is interested in not destroying you alone, but destroying everything that you did. In my state, they used to go to even the, the, the airport I built and move the plaque. I commissioned a road, they would go and move it so that my name would not be there again. So you know, if you are a politician, note, you must have a position. As people oppose you, they are also the footprint and the steps that you use to go higher. When you serve with dedication, with passion, and with godliness, with open heart, God would eventually and certainly lift you higher. And that is my prayer today for you. This weekend, you are not the minister of FCG by chance. It is a reward for the hard work that you put in in the <laughs> After I come and ask me, and I will tell you, when men say there's a casting down, God upstairs says so there's a lifting up. He doesn't lift you up because he knows how to abuse people. He lifts you up because he knows the heart, that your heart is yours. I was discussing with some of my colleagues and I said, I don't know how somebody will quarrel with a man like this. If he shouts here, you know why we are sitting there. By the time I get to that door, he has forgotten. He would be the one to get his phone and call me and say, so when are you going for, to the house for lunch? <laughs> and he has forgotten that we quarrel, then I'll tell him after the quarrel. 
So I I had a, a singular opportunity. Just let me tell you for the good people of River State why I supported this man to the governor. One of the reasons was that he came to my state and I did what they call underground pipe checking drainage system. Where pipes were going 40 feet below 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 the, the, the houses and going from one location, one was about 10.8 kilometers. A place called Tam Junction that was permanently flooded for almost 39 years. You go there now, it's a tourist attraction. We fly over with everything. Then there's underground pipe taking drainage system that enables even the infrastructure of the roads are built to last 14 years after without a single portal in Aquaigo. This man entered under the underground pipe taking drainage system. He stood there. After I went, I turned and I saw tears in his eyes. And I said, Honor Minister, what is the problem? He said, If I'm never given the opportunity to the governor of River State, I'll turn River State around. So it wasn't a surprise to me when you came here. And even we in the APC, I remember the then vice president came here and the first thing he said after going around, he just turned to you and said, Mr. Roger, you are not the one that gave yourself that name. It is not your party that even recognizes that. I don't think your party is capable of recognizing people who work hard. <laughs> it is only the APC that has that capacity to recognize people who work hard. That is why the APC fished you out and brought you out and gave you the federal capital territory. And the difference is very clear. I live in Atokuro. A and then there was this, uh, there's this uh, over, overhead bridge. If you are coming from the villa, and then you cross it to Asoko Road. In fact, my brother, I have to be honest, you are a miracle worker. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> minister after minister, for over 20 years, that place remained like that. When you came in and you started your uh, winter magic, I didn't know how. One day I passed there, and I shouted at my boys, I said, where are you to take me to? And they said, we are going to the house. I said, stop, this is not the way to the house. They said, sir, you know he closed this place for about two weeks or so. This is what he has produced. So I came out of the car and I went to his place. May God bless you and your dinner. <laughs> people, um, you can't have it all. You must have a few people who criticize you. But just to say, God would know that Lin Kuan Yu, the man that turned Singapore from third world to first world, he used to arrest some of his enemies. Whenever he wanted to bring down a structure, they would shout. They so would lock them up. Two, three years later, he would bring the dead person out and say, what you are seeing here? Say, ah, 18 stories. Don't you like it? Say, yeah, the person, this is wonderful. He said, you can now go home. I have to lock you up in order to bring this because I must change I must change the status of Singapore. It's not easy for you to change a place. One of my senators yesterday, Senator Shiro, had to stand up in Parliament and shouted. I said, we can't bring this man. We must allow him to transform the FCC from a slum into a capital city. And if you know the man I'm talking about, you'll be amazed. I did not expect such outburst from him. But he's a very quiet man. But I think it was more out of anger. So, my brother, only one thing that I have done, I've discovered today, I've discovered that you are celebrating your 60th birthday. And I, I, I can't remember when I celebrated 60. So, so, I can only say that from today, you have to give me respect. I'm your senior brother. Not because I'm fellow president, because I'm your senior by age. So happy birthday, <laughs> my dear brother. Thank you, thank you. Well, my dear friends and great women of River State, yeah. great women of River State, yeah. great mothers of River State, yeah. you are all well pleased. God will bless the women of River State yeah. for producing a song like this on my weekend. I don't want to say anything today. But let me quickly just give a, a brief address. So dear friends gathered today, we are here as members of the National Assembly, you know, including the chairman of FCC uh, in the House of Reps, Bejera, right on Bejera, everybody knows him. To celebrate not just the year in your life, but to 
to, to celebrate a life in your life. Next one, we We are not celebrating the years of your life. We are celebrating the life in your in your life. The life in the years that you have lived. Very powerful. And the countless ways that you have enriched the life of others, the river state people, Nigerians as a whole. I know a lot of people who are giving testimonies of how you have caused them in various states of the Federation. Continues to be a humanist and a, a Nigerian person. Born in the tumultuous year of 1967, when the fabric of our nation was being tested in the fires of conflict, Maybe that is what is happening, that is what is interesting you. That was the year you were born. When the fabric of our nation was being tested, you emerged. Not in the safety of calm waters, but amid the storm itself, when Nigeria was just beginning the war. So the war entered inside you. <laughs> but the war of what? The war of transformation. The war of the transnational uniter and the war of love for reversing. I would have told them the story of how you love them, but I would go, I would go past it. And then, uh, if the reverse people do not appreciate you, they begin to love a five on six. We appreciate you. Niger Delta, we appreciate you. South South, we appreciate you. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, mm -hmm. Asuaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, appreciates your work and appreciates you. The government of the APC, we appreciate you. I've, got, I've seen the National Secretary of the APC, uh, uh, Sam Daddy, and, uh, and he was, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, PDP, uh, uh, Sam, Sam at the time was uh, the policeman of the Senate in the Senate. I've seen the Deputy uh, National Chairman, and all. I don't know, it's good that you put him, but the truth is that PDP, you don't deserve a man like this enough. That's why we are all waiting to grab him. <laughs> so, 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 we do is who continue to betray. <laughs> you might have chosen to arrive in a more tranquil time, but instead, you bravely came forth into the fray when Nigeria was at war. It is perhaps this very fortitude that has shaped your, your character, allowing you to rise like an eagle, soaring high above the tempest that we that beset us. As a two-term governor, you have been a leader of the people, a visionary who acts with purpose, and a great friend who cares for others, knows no bounds. Your dedication to uplifting communities as a governor, now as an honorary minister of FPT, you've been a minister before, but this particular one is very impactful, has left serious mark, indelible mark, upon our nation's history. The bridges you have constructed, both of steel and of spirit, stand as testament your commitment to progress and unity. I recognize the fire within you long before you even stepped into the public arena as chairman of what you have local government area. You were indeed a great secret waiting to be unveiled for the nation to behold. <laughs> your contributions to the political landscape of Nigeria, particularly during your governorship years, shine like a beacon of hope. Many would rather say that you have gone better now as minister than when you were governor. But like I tell you, your character is to continue to improve upon your performance. You are now fighting to challenge yourself. I became an uncommon governor. I did this, I did that. Each time I look at you, I keep pleading with you, don't overdo. <laughs> Allow my record to still remain. But, but, I, but I, I, I can see that you are very determined to break my record. So, your charismatic leadership and such advocacy for the rights of your constituents have focused on the pillars of infrastructure, education and healthcare. Your passion for sports, I'm not, I won't mention real magic. 
your passion for sports, particularly football, and your commitment to nurturing the talents of the, our youth, reflect your unwavering belief in the potential of the next generation of Nigeria. You have earned a reputation, my brother, as a leader of uncompromising integrity, speaking truth in every facet of life, even to higher authority. Circumstances will not allow me to unwind most of the things that you have had to say. But one of them will be the agreement is uh, agreement. <laughs> agreement is agreement, yo, Jai. Agreement is agreement, yo. Tell me the worries to walk you from the game, they do nonsense. Agreement is agreement, yo. Not forget on this official occasion the steadfast support of your beloved wife, Excellency Mrs. Joseph Wicker. She has stood beside you through trials and triumphs alike. Her strength and encouragement complementing your leadership in extraordinary ways. Together, you exemplify a partnership that inspires countless souls. Growing that love and unity can elevate a leader's impact to unparalleled height. I salute your wife, I salute your son, I salute your family for sacrificing you to Nigeria. Now let us take a moment to appreciate your infectious spirit, which has the power to lighten the gravest of situations with your wit and your charm. Sometimes you jump, sometimes you dance. I know a lot of people do not know that you have the best dancers in Africa. Among the <laughs> you remind us that politics is not merely a realm of policies and procedures. It is also the core, the core, the core value of politics is all about the people. About laughter, about conversation, about remembering your friends, but not forgetting your enemies and the shared joy of community and, and, and uh, communal living. May this day, day, my brother, bring you as much joy as you have bestowed upon many others. And may you embrace even more adventures, more successes, and an ever-increasing momentum in your noble service to our beloved fatherland. Here is to another year of making a difference inspiring change and of course sharing that signature that signature smile that you are known for that warms our hearts and makes us to continue to get attracted to you on my part i will say that i will know uh, that uh, my colleagues will permit me you happen to be the only minister i've had the privilege of this i come to your house even when you are not expecting me I apologize. I'm not supposed to visit a minister. So I apologize for this minister of which <laughs> Two of you are doing so well in the cabinet. I know other ministers will join. Sunji Ojo, Olubuji Ojo, Minister of Interior, is doing so well. You are also a great shining example. The, uh, my brother, Honor Minister Patel, in health, is doing so well. We very soon will ask you for your record. So we are the ones who are fighting you, so we can tell you. But I can tell you that this will record your name officially in this country at the end of your term. <laughs> Happy birthday, Your Excellency, my dear brother. It is my solemn prayer that the years ahead will be filled with even more splendid moments, and that the remainder of your journey on earth be more glorious than the past. This is our prayer, and because of the Father. The government of that, uh, sorry, not the government. Somebody has sabotaged the air condition. Uh, air conditioning system, I, I would beg to stop at this point. But so, so I assure you that no matter whether we are in heat or in air condition, this one will get the man's system. May God Almighty protect you. Grant you more wisdom. Grant you good health. And grant you the enablement. Not just to serve the good people of the past that you love so much that you continue to put smiles on the faces of all Nigeria. Thank you for what you are doing in FCC. And on behalf of the President of Nigeria, I want to say, right on.
great Neto Wite is a project. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. The Senate President, with all the Senators, will be stepping down to build the book. I know her name is Lyle.